So we asked in the survey what the producers felt about the quality of the commissioner's involvement in the commissioned ideas. And we got some vastly different responses. So as you can see, the BBC um, and ITV quite comparable um, in their, their scores. Um, Channel 4 and Sky, quite polarised. Um, five is the worst, but as I say, they're not up here to answer for themselves. Um, so, Jay, it's quite interesting that you've got almost the same percentage saying that Commissioner's involvement is great and is not so good. And I'm wondering here, is this to do with Obviously, the, you know, there are lots of people commissioning, so some are better than others, or...? Yeah, I think inevitably there's a degree of subjectivity in here, and, you know, I would like to be able to say that 100% of interactions with Channel 4 are perfect, and every piece of feedback is bang on message, and that's all fantastic. I'm sure there are occasions when that isn't the case, and I'm, I'm sure I take from this that there are some conversations which are not proving to be as productive as they might be. I mean, I think the other thing I would take from this is we're, part of what we're out there to do is to take huge risks, to make some really difficult shows. And I think if you look at some of the shows that have been in production for years, whether it's Plane Crash or Drugs Live or The Mill, which was in production for two and a half years, they're trying to do something difficult. And I think you're going to get in situations where the feedback can be quite tense and there can be exchange of views and it, we're trying to, to push the boundary. So I'm not hugely surprised there's some pushback, but clearly I would far rather seeing that entirely green. And I mean, it gives me pause for thought to think, well, are there some particular individuals or pockets of what we're doing that we're getting wrong? And obviously, you know, everybody knows you're very hands-on. You've always been. Um, and as you say, it's your name above the door, just like Peggy Mitchell on the Queen Vic. Do you sometimes think that your commissioners are trying to second-guess you or that sometimes they're not on the same page as you, so they give one message to producers and then, you know, you might see a show and give another message? No, I think it's a bit of a myth, to be completely honest. I mean, the extraordinary thing about my job is, is, frankly, the scale of it. I mean, I'm setting the creative direction for Channel 4, More 4, E4, the scheduling direction for 4, 7, and for Film 4, and it is, it is in, utterly inconceivable, however much I might want to, to, to be across absolutely everything. So I, one of the reasons of uh, the changes that have happened over the past couple of years in the commissioning team is I need a team that I can delegate to, who can take responsibility for delivering the sorts of quality that I am held to account for. I mean, I am held to account by David, by the board and ultimately by Ofcom by the quality of what we put on air. You know, you'd be surprised if I wasn't across some of it, but I couldn't possibly be across all of it. Do we all think we delegate enough? I, I wonder. I mean, certainly whenever I get feedback or whenever I give feedback to commissioners, um, a constant thing is we need to delegate more and more and find the sweet spot where you delegate enough, but you don't do a, a Kevin Spacey where you say, here, have everything. Yeah. I just wonder what everyone, Danny, do you think you delegate? Uh, I, I like delegating, because I find having too much to do not very pleasant. <laughs> uh, I, 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 you know, I, I want to have a balanced life and not be working every evening and six or seven days a week. So I'm very pro-delegation.